Hey guys, what's up and happy new year. I cannot believe that today is actually January 1st of 2020. It is a new decade, a new year, and I have so many exciting things planned for this year that I'm gonna be talking to you guys about while I sit down and just do my makeup and get ready. As you guys may or may not have noticed, I have been gone for the last month of December off of YouTube and putting my full attention towards Chop Theory, my new salon, and really just focus on getting that set up and ready and a really strong foundation for the year to come. So thank you guys so much for being patient with me throughout this whole process. I know it's frustrating to have like consistency with someone and then they like disappear out of nowhere. So I'm really, really sorry. I just have had a lot. It's so much to deal with. I. I'm so overwhelmed and it's just been a lot, a lot more than I thought I could handle. I'm back and I'm better than ever. So we're gonna go ahead and dive into today's video. I'm gonna be catching you up on everything, talking about some New Year's resolutions, some goals, things like that. So if you guys are interested, then let's just go ahead and get started in today's video. And it would mean the world to me if you guys hit that subscribe button down below. Join my YouTube family because I do have a lot coming for all of you. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get started. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start with this good molecule silicone free priming moisturizer I've been using this the last couple of weeks and I actually really really enjoy this primer it reminds me a lot of the first a beauty coconut skin soothing primer if you guys have tried that one I talk about it a lot here on my channel so I've been using that it's really nice and cooling on the skin and I have really dry skin so lordy knows that I need that I'm gonna put on some chapstick this is from the brand EOS and I got like a huge I think it was a pack of like 12 from Costco. So I'm just gonna put that on my lips because once again, your girl is dry, so she needs all the moisture she can get. Okay, so before I actually dive into talking about this stuff, I'm just gonna tell you guys a couple of things real quickly. So I am using the new Urban Decay um, Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation and their concealer, but the sponges I wanna tell you guys about, I found these on Amazon. Ali Yost actually recommended them um, on her Instagram and I did end up purchasing them. So I'm currently using this one right here, but they do, I think it's a pack of five or something. I have a purple one in my drawers and they're so good. They're better than beauty blenders in my opinion, and they're I think $9 for a pack of five. So I'm gonna link them down below if you guys are interested. Definitely get yourself these and stop buying $20 beauty blenders, because this. So we can go ahead and start talking about the salon. I've been in there for about a month now, and I absolutely love having my own space, and I love the way that I decorated it. If you guys haven't seen Chop Theory's Instagram, definitely go check it out because I have a lot more stuff that I'm adding to the salon. I would say it's about 85% done, um, but so far I'm loving it, and I've gotten such good feedback from my clients, so that's really, really exciting to me. Uh, just because the main idea of it was, of course, to create an atmosphere that I knew my clients would actually appreciate and love. I explained this in the video where I was announcing about Chop Theory, and I feel like Charlotte just doesn't really have any salons that I personally could work at and feel like it marks off everything from my checklist as far as like decor-wise, environment-wise, um, employees, like things like that. Like I feel like there's always something missing in all the different salons that I kept looking at. And so that's why I wanted to create what I created. To receive all the feedback that I've gotten from all of you guys here, people on Instagram, my friends, other hairstylists, my clients, things like that just really means a lot because I put so much money and so much effort and time into this whole thing that I really wanted to make sure that it was perfect and I'm still adding things and that's why I haven't done like a full on salon tour because I feel like it's not 100% finished. And I still have a lot of like details and things that I want to add to it. So um, like today we got like the Chop Theory sign. It's like a metal acrylic sign um, inside and it looks so cute, but that was something that was definitely missing and I didn't want to do the tour without it. So I will be doing like a finished salon tour once everything is 100% done, but it's just such a work in progress. Like it's nothing that can be finished all at once. So. That is why you guys haven't seen like a finished tour, but I definitely will be doing it because I know a lot of you guys have been asking um, and I'll be sharing like everything. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about like light fixtures and things like that. And so I will be doing a finished salon tour with all the details and links and everything once I am finished. But it's just like, it's there's just so much work and I feel like it never ends. And I worked, I think, 60 hours the first and the second week and it was holiday season all while trying to open it up so like I opened 
the day after, not the day after Thanksgiving, but the Monday after Thanksgiving. Um, so like that was crazy. And then everybody wanted to get their hair done before Christmas and the new year and all that. So I was just working all the time and I had no time at all to be able to film and sit down on YouTube. So that was the hardest part. And I think that's the hardest part about this whole new endeavor i guess you could say is that i haven't been able to really focus on i guess myself and youtube and the things that i used to do um like i used to have such a set routine where i would go to work monday wednesday friday for 12 hours and then come home tuesdays and thursdays and then saturdays and sundays and be able to film and edit and i had so much time for instagram and social media and like getting all of that content up that now it has just been so just like a whirlwind, like a volcano came and like hit my life and just kind of like spun everything around. And now I'm just trying to figure out how to get back onto my feet and get into a regular routine. So I think I'm going to be working Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then I'm going to try really hard to film all my videos on Wednesdays and then like edit them after work on the days that I am working. So I will definitely be very very busy obviously my overhead is a lot more now that i'm a salon owner rather than just a renter um so i have to make sure that i'm obviously working all the time to have an income and i can do it all on my own like i can definitely cover everything on my own it's just a lot of work to cover everything on my own so i am definitely still looking for like two other booth renters in the salon um, but I'm not settling until I find the perfect girl. So that's kind of the issue right now. So Charlotte's a little bit tricky because I feel like there are some really good hairstylists, but a lot of them are locked into like commission based salons. Um, and a lot of people want to be independent. Like they want to go off to booth rental, but a lot of them are scared to take the risk and it is a risk, but oh my goodness, you can make so much more doing booth rental in a salon than you can doing commission based and I totally understand like why it is terrifying so it's just hard finding girls that like check off all the main things that i am looking for in an employee and so um i think that's the hardest thing is just like this whole month has just been like go 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 and i've been like talking to some hairstylists and things like that and it's just hard um to find someone that fits all of those criteria and stuff and so i'm um, still definitely taking my time with it um, just because, you know, I want to make sure that I have the right people in there. A lot of salon owners end up settling for, um, some not so great stylists in their salon just because they're desperate to like fill the spaces. And I'd rather work harder and pay it myself and wait for the perfect people to come along than to fill it for, you know, with people who don't know how to manage their money and can't pay their rent and, you know are not respectful to their clients or to my clients or to the space or things like that um because it's scary i mean you have to make sure that you're having someone in there that you trust with your equipment and your things because at the end of the day like you know they could steal it from you or they could just like not pay you rent or things like that so you definitely just have to be very very picky on who you want and so that's why it's taking me a while because i want to make sure that whoever's in there is perfect for chop theory so that's basically what's happening with the salon right now. I'm currently looking for people, but I'm also just not in a rush. And I am kind of taking advantage of being alone right now. And I am um, filming. So I filmed two videos so far in the salon um, with my clients and stuff. So I do have hair tutorials coming for all of you. Um, it just takes a while to edit those because I do have to do like the voiceovers and things like that. So I have more um, hair color and stuff like that because I know that you guys really like those. And then I also plan on doing a lot of vlogs. So I guess I'll kind of go into like my new year's resolution now. So I definitely still really would like to be super consistent here on YouTube because I do still want to grow. Like YouTube has always been my ultimate dream, my ultimate goal. And I don't even really, I mean, I kind of consider myself a YouTuber, but not really. Um, just because, I mean, hair is like my main job. It's where my main income comes from. Um, and I don't really, I consider this fun right now. It's not really a job to me, but that's also what makes it so difficult when I do have crazy stuff going on with like clients. Like you guys have to understand that I literally have to, there are days. So the first two weeks when I was in the salon, 
I literally would work 11 hours a day. I would come home and I would have like 18 different text messages from clients. And then I have to come home and figure out all the finances and stuff for my business. So I was literally working nonstop day and night trying to figure out holiday season with my clients and things like that. So I don't want you guys to feel like I just kind of like abandoned YouTube and am not planning on coming back because I am. I just had to kind of get my groove on on everything and things like that. This new Urban Decay Stay Naked Threesome. So this is a bronzer, highlighter, and blush. I'm still kind of getting the hang of how to use this. I'm using the bronzer inside of here right now. So my New Year's resolution is basically to figure out how to balance still doing YouTube consistently while running my business at the same time. That's like my first my first and most important goal. My goal is to really focus on my diet. Um, I'm really good at going to the gym all the time. I love lifting. I love doing all that stuff, but I'm really bad at dieting. Real quickly, I'm just gonna use this primer infused blush from Buxom instead of this blush right here. I just feel like I'm never as motivated with eating as I am going to the gym. I don't know why, but that's just a flaw of mine. Another New Year's resolution of mine. Now I'm using the Benefit Cookie Highlight. Another New Year's resolution is obviously to fill the salon with stylists that I think will go great with the salon. Another New Year's resolution is to go to either some type of hair show or travel somewhere for hair education, whether it's just a class or a hair show or something. By the way, I'm using this um, Natural Eyes Too Faced palette. If you guys can't see, I am obsessed with this palette right here. I use it on the daily. I think those are like my main ones. And then mm, definitely figure out some type of um, elopement or something for Christian and I that obviously has to be, <laughs> obviously has to be planned at some point, but I'm really not concerned about it at all. Um, but obviously that has to be planned. So that will definitely be a new year's resolution. I really want to grow my YouTube, but that goes right hand in hand with my first new year's resolution, which is to focus more on how to balance YouTube and my salon. But obviously I would love to grow my channel and do a lot more with it. And so, yeah, that's a huge resolution for me. Cause I feel like no matter how hard I try on YouTube, I feel like it doesn't really go that far but i'm going to try really really hard hit the ground running aka it's january 1st and i'm already sitting down filming um so yeah like i'm ready i'm ready to tear it up i'm ready to be all over instagram all over youtube all over my hair instagram all that stuff so i want to grow my hair page my main instagram my youtube i just feel like there's just so much potential on here and there's so many Oh, why do my cheeks look so crazy? Um, my New Year's resolution is to tan so I can use regular bronzer because I feel like my face is really, really pale right now. Mm. So yeah, I feel like there's just so much potential to grow here on the internet. And like, although half of me really hates YouTube and Instagram and social media, it is just what the world is and we just kind of have to accept it. Like I hate that Instagram and YouTube rule our world and take over the world but i mean it just is what it is and you just have to get it and you have to run with it and i have a really good foundation and i just need to do more with it and i'm really just going to focus and dive in deep but my number one struggle with that right now is that i'm watching the show you so i really need to just finish that series up so i can get off netflix because it's wasting my time <laughs> have you guys watched the show you because i'm not on season two yet i think i just I have to start season two tonight after I get some editing done, okay? I'm still focusing, but I need to watch the next season so I can get this thing out of my life. It's just so good. If you guys haven't seen it, I missed all the hype on it for so long. And by the way, I'm using this color push-up right there in the middle. It's so good. I've been loving doing this with my eye. It's like almost my everyday look whenever i'm at work i do this it's so good but anyways enough about me what are your guys's new year's resolutions i would love to know your guys's new year's resolution leave them down below because i want to read through them i want everybody to comment down below and let me know 
because I'm very curious. I'm sure we all have fitness related resolutions because the whole entire world does, but mine specifically is targeted towards dieting. So let me know what yours is. If you have any fitness ones, any career ones, um, let me know because I'm very, very curious. The Silk Teddy color right here is a perfect either all over the lid shade or the perfect inner corner highlight shade and brow bone color. It's just beautiful and I love it. So just popping that right there and right there. And I ordered something else from Amazon. I'm really excited to try it and I've been waiting to try it for this video. But these are the Magnetic Eyeliner and Eyelash Kit. I'm sure you guys have heard of it, but it's from Amazon. And I believe it was like 20 bucks or something, maybe less than that. But it comes with an eyeliner right here, which is supposed to be magnetic to the lashes. So you don't need lash glue, which I'm very curious because I love wearing lashes on a daily basis. But I hate having to put them on because it's such a pain um, with like the glue and stuff. So... I normally don't wear them to work, but if this works, I wear it to work like every day. But I already looked inside of here and it's this cute little case. And then it has two sets of lashes. So right there is your first set, which I think will be way too big. I'll probably have to like cut them down, honestly. And then if you flip it down, this is the next set that's gonna show. Yeah, so I think I'll really like these ones, which I'm gonna try these right now. I'm going to take this eyeliner. Maybe I should read directions. Is there any directions inside of here? So I'm reading the directions and I think I'm gonna coat my lashes with mascara before, not after, so I don't get it on the actual mas or, uh, fake lash. So I'm just using this Buxom mascara because it's not super thick or voluminous or anything on my lashes it's just like a nice coat to make them black so you can't see them through the fake lashes carefully draw eyeliner line along your eye shape ensure the line it close to your roots of your real lashes bend your magnetic eyelash band to make it softer and perfect fit for your eye shape take the end tip of the magnetic eyelash with tweezers or finger and put it above your real eyelash and make the magnets and slowly close and connect with eyeliner line before totally dried gently adjust till the eyelash perfectly applied hold on i'm gonna try this real quick and see if it's too long because i'm imagining that it is probably wait yeah it's definitely too long so i'm gonna go ahead and cut this eyelash down somehow actually works really good like I think it's going to this is a game changer for sure so while I wait for this to set or whatever it needs to do because I don't know what the heck's going on I'm gonna do my lips and this is the LA girl ultimate lip liner because this is still my fave nothing has changed about that but this is in the shade non-stop nude and I'm gonna use the um, MAC lipstick in the shade myth because it's one of my favorite nude shades And then I'm going to use this Buxom Plumping Lip Cream. I love this one so much. This is in the shade White Russian, and it is the perfect nude lip gloss. So just to tie everything together, I feel like Buxom White Russian is such an iconic lip color. It smells so good. That is all that I have for all of you guys today. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I am so happy to be back and I'm so excited about the new year. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys in my next one. I hope you all have a happy 2020 and a happy new year.